Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Yeshua didn't come away and take away all this love and all these great benefits. He came to remind people not to forget them. You know, that's what he was showing people. He wasn't taking them away from the guidelines and instructions of our Creator. He was pointing them to them. The Pharisees and the sages wanted the man-made power when Yeshua said, No, the power is in my Father and He'll tell us what to do. And that's the way to live. A lot of people want to follow what the Pharisees and the sages had to say, but Yeshua says this is the way it is. And He was there and He was teaching from the Torah. See, he didn't change it. He was teaching from, the, when he was around, there was no New Testament, people. He was teaching right there from the Torah. But we go on to see there's, there's people in churches teaching these things, and, and it's just not true. And, you know, you're really not going to understand the joy until you really understand the full, complete scriptures, not just half of them. You see, the problem was today, back then, you had the Pharisees and sages that wanted the man-made power, they, and, and, and they didn't want it from Yeshua, so there was a split. So Yeshua said, no, I'm going to be here on the side of my Father and do what he says to do. But the Pharisees and sages said, no, well, we want the man-made power. Well, today, you got Yeshua versus the church, because the church is saying, we want the man-made power. This is the way you do it, and most of the things the church is doing is not what Yeshua taught. It's not what Torah says. It's not... But Yeshua was shown by example. But Yeshua says today, well, you have a choice. You choose them or you choose me, just like it says in the scripture. Today I choose before you, I put before you life and death. You know, blessing and curse. Choose life so you may live. But we see what's happening out there, and this is why, you know, the church, the people in the church, they, they're not set apart. They look the same, they act the same, because they're teaching the same things. The, the, the Pharisees and the sages were so legalistic and... I agree 100%. That's why Yeshua came, to free them up. You see, the problem is, back then they were saying Yeshua wasn't legalistic enough. Yeshua wasn't, you know, they, he wasn't religious enough. He wasn't spiritual enough. That's what they were saying back then, the Pharisees and sages. Now, if he was walking today around here, you know what the churches would be saying? They'd be saying, he's too legalistic. He's too spiritual. He's too into the, the Torah and the guidelines. It's crazy. I mean... If you don't understand the scriptures, it's going to be hard to, to receive the gift that Yeshua really came here to give us. If you're watching and you're a Christian, uh, it's not about being legalistic. Uh, but even if it was, you work so hard to be legalistic to man-made laws, you go stop at a red light, why? You know, Because you don't want to get a ticket, but that red light's there to keep you safe. If these were God's laws, why wouldn't you want to follow them? But they're not. They're guidelines and instructions. And I'm not saying you're not going to be saved if you're eating unclean animals. I'm not claiming you're not going to be saved if you're not following these laws 100%. But Yahweh sees our heart. And it says in the scriptures, those that love me will keep my commandments. And I say, those that love him will at least try. They'll at least study them. They'll at least know what they are. And, and that's not happening today. People don't know what they are. They're not keeping them. They're not studying them. You know, just where did Yeshua teach from? He taught from the Torah. He did not say, those that love me will keep my commandments, and my commandments shall not be burdensome. Yeah, it's going to be real hard, to, you know, to somebody who doesn't understand the scriptures. You know, it's not hard to keep the Shabbat. It's a joy. And uh, we will understand these things, you know, but the church, again, is not teaching a biblical message. What did he just say? Did I just hear him right? The church is not teaching a biblical message. They're teaching a message that's more mainstream than it is biblical. And that's the problem. And, and that's why people are running into all these issues and there's no separation between the church and the world. And people are just as sick today in the church and out of the church. They got, the divorce rates are higher in the church than out of the church because they're not teaching a biblical message. They're not teaching the message of Yeshua. And, and, and that is the problem. And if you disagree with it, you know, go and research it for yourself. See, when I got saved, I didn't, I wasn't going to church. I had never read the scriptures. I wasn't studying it for a long time. I simply picked up a Bible. Somebody told me to read it, and I said, where should I start? And they suggested the Gospel of John. So without knowing any interpretations, without knowing many Christians, Without ever stepping foot in the church, I read the words of Yeshua. I read the Gospel of John. And I accepted Yeshua as my Messiah. And I got excited to live a life that Yeshua told us to live. So I started to 
really do the research to follow what he told us to live. But then later on, as I started to go into a church, as I started to listen to other pastors on the radio and meet other people who are Christians, I started seeing a contradiction. They weren't living the words that he told us to live. And they would say to me, where are you learning all this stuff? Because it's not what my church is teaching. Well, I'm saying, how often do you read your book? How often do you read the scriptures? I made her believe it the other day. She said she's been a believer 40 years and she never read all the scriptures. Or, oh, I just read that part or that part. You've got to read the whole thing over and over again if you really want to understand it. And, and each time you learn more and you'll see more. Uh, but, you know, it's very easy to say, well, uh, I accept Yeshua as my Messiah, so I don't got to do anything else. I could live the same way, I could act the same way, but that's not the case. Your heart is supposed to change when you accept Yeshua as your Messiah, and you're supposed to hate the things that you once loved. You can't be living the same life and expect that you're saved now. You know, you're supposed to hate the things you love. You might struggle with them as you're overcoming those addictions of the world, but certainly you can't still love them. You can't even like them or enjoy them. You have to hate those things and want to be as far away from those things as possible. Seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's way.